Hey guys, it's Key here from Kegland and just talking to you about power controllers. Now power controllers are something often used with inductive loads like heating elements. I know a lot of guys with rim systems often uh, they plug in like one of our 2200 watt stick elements or something like that. And they want to reduce the power or want to have some control over the power. Sometimes for distillation that can be really handy. Um, yeah, definitely on some boilers if you don't want it to boil over and you want to be able to adjust the power or get some infinite adjustment. So in the past, we had some uh, power controller chips you had to wire up, and a lot of people found that the 240 volt wiring or mains wiring was just a little bit too annoying for them. They didn't want the risk of that either. So now what we've done is we've made our new power station power controller chip box like this. Uh, so there's just like a, a regular female socket here, and on the other end, you've got a male socket to plug into the wall. So it's really simple. You just plug this into the wall, plug the device you want to control power to on here, and then you just adjust it with this zero to 100% power that you're putting into it. So this clips the waveform. So not everything's gonna love this type of, uh, type of uh, device. Definitely sensitive electronics and stuff like that. You wouldn't wanna plug your, you know, your laptop into this or your, uh, your desktop computer or something. It could uh, cause some problems. However, for resistive loads, this is fantastic. Definitely some other products like, for instance, um, uh, motors and stuff like that. This will work quite well uh, as long as you don't stall the motor. Um, but anyway, let me uh, get into it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I've got my power board here. Now this power board's live, so I'm just gonna plug the power cord into this one here and turn that on. Um, now, on the, now on the power controller itself, uh, you've got an on button here so you can uh, give power to the unit. And then you've got a little LED display here which shows you the, basically uh, kind of gives you an indication of the amount of volts that you're putting through the device. Because it's clipping the waveform, this particular display um, will give you a, a sort of a, 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 an indication of, of uh, how much power you're putting into the unit. But I wouldn't take this number as gospel per se. It's just, think of it as an arbitrary number, I suppose. The other thing you'll notice is we say 4,000 watts. Uh, clearly, because it's got a 10 amp uh, socket on here, uh, you can only go up to 10 amps worth of, uh, of things you're gonna plug in here. So one heating element, you couldn't plug two of our 2,000 watt, uh, 2,200 watt heating sticks in here. You can only plug in one per device. Um, yeah, but when, you, when it comes to Variac uh, power controller chips, you really wanna over-engineer the components uh, in order to make sure they don't burn out because they can start to heat up. And uh, definitely if you have this, uh, the, the, if this was only rated to say 2,500 uh, you know, watts, then yeah, definitely it would be pushing it to the limits if we plugged in a 2,500 watt device. So we always wanna over-engineer the electronics in this type of device. Now to just give you a little visual uh, demonstration, I've got a little fan here for instance. Um, so I'm gonna plug the fan in here and let me just turn this down to zero to start with. Okay, I'm gonna plug that fan in and gradually increment the, uh, the, the controller here. So you'll notice it'll just kick in. And you can see there, uh, I'm getting a really, really slow fan speed. Now, one thing you don't wanna do with, uh, with motors is go too slow. So I wouldn't wanna go right down here and just stall it because eventually that can cook the fan. So you wanna always make sure with motors, if you're gonna use this, let's say for a grain mill, for instance, might be a really handy application if you wanna adjust the grain milling speed and you've got a motor plugged in, always make sure on the controller, you're using a minimum speed to actually get the motor turning. That's obviously a really important part. And then obviously you can control right from this very, very slow speed we've got here up to you know full power like that, for instance. So um, you know it's a really, really handy device. Definitely, you know, for brewing, it has its applications, and you may find other applications around the home for you know running motors or uh, even uh, incandescent lights or something like that. If you want to use it as a dimmer, you know, it'll work for that too. Thanks for that, guys. Hope you enjoy using our power station. Look, I know you'll find this really handy in a brewery if you've got electrical heating elements, and definitely around the house if you've got other stuff you want to control like lights or, or motors. Um, yeah, if you want to hear about any of the other new stuff we're coming up with, definitely sign up to our YouTube channel. So just down there in the uh, bottom right hand corner. Uh, or if you want to get any discount codes or hear about other stuff going on, um, sign up to our Facebook page. Alright, thanks guys. See you next time. Bye.